Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my review of the Casio G-Shock GD350. This one uh, is, has fast become one of my favorites. Uh, this is the one with the negative display, but it's, as you can see, it's pretty legible. Um, to, even when you're off angle, it's still pretty good. Uh, might be a little better with the, with the plain dark gray on light gray, but uh, this one just, I don't know, kind of nice that it's all black. Uh, kind of a nice change, you know. So I'll start with the pros. Let me go back to the time mode. Uh, it's very comfortable. Uh, for such a massive watch, I didn't expect it to be this comfortable. But even on my small six and three quarter inch circumference wrist, uh, it's very comfortable. I think the trick is these wings. Casio is putting these on their uh, a lot of their G-Shocks and path Pathfinders and Protrex these days. If you have a small wrist, they kind of come in to conform to your wrist like that and keep the watch from rotating around. And if you have bigger wrists, they just tend to open up like that. Um, and they, they tend not to pull hair either. I had uh, a PAW 2000, which pulled hair a little bit in the, the cracks there, but this one doesn't. Um, the, main, the main feature, I think, that sets this one apart from uh, a lot of other watches is that the countdown timer is accessible right from the home screen. Whatever you have it set for in the timer screen, you just push this metal button on the lower right and it starts the timer. Isn't that brilliant? So it, you still have your time of day is the main feature, but then on this nice dot matrix display up here, it shows you minutes and then this is a regular LCD up here. So it tells me where I'm counting down from, nice and clear and easy to read, but you still have the time of day. So that's nice. Um, there's no way to stop it or reset it from this mode, just starts it. And then so if I go over to the timer mode, I can stop it reset it. Um, got a couple of bar graphs here. Um, Casio just can't resist doing that with their G-Shocks. Um, but they're kind of fun to look at. And then up here there's a uh, we have kind of a at a glance radar chart. This lower right one tells you if the timer's on. So for instance if I start the timer again that one starts flashing. Uh, upper right one tells you that the watch is muted so it doesn't beep when you push the buttons and lower left shows you that the vibration, the vibe alert is on. Um, so when it, when it beeps after an alarm or a countdown, it just vibrates on your wrist. You don't hear anything. So it's not just the, the black screen and the black strap that makes it stealthy, but you can also make it completely silent, but it still lets you know um, when something's happening. Let me cancel the timer here. Um, so that vibe alert function is pure gold and it's not just you know for if you're a soldier and you're trying to be all stealthy in the field or something but just for everyday stuff like I'm at work listening to headphones while I work on my computer and uh, I'm you know timing the time it takes to uh, to brew my tea even if I'm blasting music I can I can feel that buzz on my wrist instead of uh, having to be able to hear one uh, and then also it works the other way around. If you're in a really loud place that you wouldn't normally hear the thing beep, you can still feel it buzz on your wrist. So that is a, a great feature. And the fact that they made it accessible from the home screen is, uh, makes it even that much better. Uh, the negative display, I think I mentioned already, it's uh, black background, gold digits, pretty easy to read. This is uh, the new standard, I think, for Casio. Um, negative displays used to be that you couldn't you couldn't see them that well if it was bright out but this one is fine or I mean dark out uh, as for the cons uh, it's very it's a very big watch um, that's all the style now I guess for a lot of people but I've got a small wrist and uh, it's 18 millimeters thick and uh, here it is on my uh, my six and three quarter inch wrist You can see that's pretty big. It takes up, you know, pretty much the whole top of my wrist, and you can see it's pretty thick too. Uh, you Canadians or, or other guys that are in, um, you know, the northern part of the U.S. or in any northern or, or far southern climate where it gets really cold, 
once you have to start putting sweaters and jackets on, uh, then this will start to kind of catch on that. You'll have to pull the sleeves over it or just accept the fact that this is going to hold it. You know, some people will tuck it in, tuck the sleeve underneath here and it'll hold the sleeve out of the way. So that's a disadvantage for some people. Uh, and it's not solar or atomic. Um, I thought about that and, um, oops. And that, that's nice sometimes, but uh, I think what happens is that vibration alarm probably takes up a lot more juice than, the, uh, than just a beeper, uh, you know, beeping alarm. So they decided to skip it on this watch. Also saves some cost. Um, it uses a CR2032 lithium battery, which is easy to find and really cheap too. And on that big, on that big lithium battery, it'll go five years. So it's not like you got to run out every, you know, nine months or a year to get a new battery in it. It's every five years. Um, let's see. Let me just go through the modes here real quick. Uh, you have your home screen, day, date, and if you start the timer, then it shows the timer at the top got your world time you can see it scrolls the the city across there you can go east by pushing the lower right button or west by pushing the upper right button and then it shows you so it shows you the time the location and then the date because sometimes it'll be a different date and a different location so that's nice uh, this is the one screen I think that it doesn't show you the time of day in your home time zone. Okay, next we have the alarm mode. We've got, let me go back to number one here. This is another neat thing about this watch. If you hit the adjust button up here, you have options off. Oh, that's not that one, it's this one, sorry one time or daily alarm so if it's off obviously it's not going to go off but default now is one time so you set the alarm and it'll just go off one time and that's it and that's kind of nice because i think that's what you want most of the time um, default for casio has always been daily you set it off and it goes off every day at that time until you go in and turn it off so this one it goes off one time and then it turns off and that's it so that's kind of nice and then of course you can still do daily if you want <clears throat> and we go through the alarms by pushing lower right button. So you got alarms one through four, and then alarm number five. Instead of one time or daily, it's either snooze or off. And then it shows you along the bottom there. It says snooze alarm. When you turn it off, that disappears. So a nice alarm mode. Stopwatch, also very nice. You have the you notice the, the time of day uh, is shown here on the upper right. And then you got hours in the dot matrix part at the top, and then minutes, seconds, and hundreds of seconds here. And then while the alarm go is going in typical G-Shock style, you have the bar graphs are doing their thing. Just adds a little visual interest, you know. So start, this is start, stop, and this is split, reset. So it tells you it's split, keep going, and then and I've got it on silent, so none of that causes any beeping. Then we get the countdown timer. Again, it, it keeps the time of day there so that even when I'm timing something, I can see what time it is without having to cycle through anything. And then back to the home screen. So pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Uh, it is big and thick, uh, but it's very comfortable and pretty affordable for such a great feature set. It was only about $100. Uh, I love this watch. I'd buy it again. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, uh, either with a comment or thumbs up, thumbs down, or both. See you around.